Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. This is 9 to 10, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We finished the weeklies, so catch up on that one, okay? So let's see what's going on for my Aries. I already drank a coffee. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. Okay, let's see what's going on. 9 and 10 for my Aries. Here we go. You have your Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with the Leo. Let me see what's going on here. I feel someone is um, trying to get your attention here. This person is... Um, well, not that they are attention seeker. They want you to look at them. Basically, this person is like, look at me, look at me, look at me. Okay. But instead of communicating or talking to you, um, they're not even being straightforward. And for you, it's just like, you gotta have the balls to deal with me over here. Sorry, I don't so I have to say that. Mm -hmm. Person has none. <laughs> Not sure how strong your <laughs> your Mars energy, but um, that's the best that they can do. Okay, <laughs> this can be your other person. Now that there is no movement, you know that this person is all of a sudden like just changing their look or there's something about this person it's just like is this person trying to get my attention right now it's not even just about a look maybe i mean their social media like they would post something to get your attention in particular let's see the other person well a fortune which is jupiter um could be dealing with a pisces or is uh what am i saying scorpio a sag jupiter ruled Faith, of course. Um, Jupiter is going to Scorpio. That's why probably I said Scorpio. It could be dealing with a Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, this person is trying to seduce you also for um, a level of reasons. And one is that they want to, you know, they want to be intimate with you. Let's just keep it that way. Um, this person has a growing, okay. When I say growing, um, growing desire for you. Vice versa also. Um... They will make their presence more announced about how much they find you attractive or, you know. But this is a very sexual desire. That's what I'm feeling here. And they're trying to lure you, you know. Hello, Aries, basically. This is what this person is saying. Because you have here the four seasons trying to stir you up, you know. This is them trying to, it's like, mm, let me be hot and cold and steamy. Mm-hmm. Is that the energy? Let's see here. Queen of Swords, two queens can be same sex. You could be dealing with a Libra, but this is you acting cold. And I told you just hot and cold, and now it's hot and cold. Definitely, hot and cold becomes steamy. But the Queen of Swords doesn't play no game. So if you're the Queen of Swords, or the other person is, it's like I got no time for games. It's almost like you want me, step up, then we'll see. You're not backing down. Because you're trying to put this person to a test how much you can stand me. Like, seriously, how much can you stand me? This is this person. You are this other person's energy. But it's about a game of who cracks down um, with regards to who attracts more. Like, oh, I know you're attracted to me. It's like, let's see then how far you can resist me. But the other person has the same energy. Three of Wands, so that's them having high expectation, have it waiting for you to make the move. This is when the other person is just like, all right, I'll sit pretty over here. But they're not the Empress or whoever this is not an Empress. They're just saying, for the, for example, it's like, I already um, announced my desire, but now I wait. Okay, now I wait. This is this person. And Jupiter is going to Scorpio on the 11th. So this person is um, can be acting by by faith meaning a perfect moment that this person is doing now that they know about it it's just that you know it's the energy of the universe so they're just now waiting for for things to come out and jupiter and scorpio things will come out definitely vedic said you nine of pentacles confidence over here whoever this person is they're confident with who they are 
Um, when I say confident, it's the way they carry themselves, you know, because the Queen of Wands is a doctor's. It's interesting because you have a seductress and a divorcee. So someone here exhibits those two energies. Someone could be getting divorced and then, you know, going for the side piece, just saying. But they're divorced already, okay? You're the one who probably have a side piece or vice versa. But a Nine of Pentacles is single. So someone here is single um, and appears to be very smart, career driven, get things, you know, this person is getting everything in their life. Um, you know, they have good set of um, head in their shoulders also. Death card, and I skip saying Scorpio, mm-hmm, and I said Jupiter, mm-hmm. So there's definitely something going to happen on the 11th over here, because this is a transit. Like what I told you, it's more a planet, not not just a, how to say this, um, not just a tarot. You know, the planet is speaking, which what we do here also. There's something that this person knows that it's coming towards them, provided that they just don't do anything. Now, the other person, though, is strong enough to resist this energy. Because they're confident. I know what I'm doing over here. I've done this how many times. People go after me. They do. But the other person here is blessed by the divine in perfect timing. That, that's when I say blessed by the divine. They know they're not going to do anything. Can be a Scorpio also, of course. They know that this person will transform. You may be single and confident, but you got nothing behind, you know, a Scorpio. Just saying. <laughs> Both Mars energy and your Mars rule. You got me. So I'm going to look very particular in the extended reading, if you know, if you resonate with this, very specific on that day, what manifests and how it manifests, because this is a year transit also. Okay, so that's where I'm going to continue this, all right? Thank you very much, Iris, for watching. Have a wonderful October 9 and 10. Um, that's it, okay? So let's see who breaks down. <laughs> Bye, Iris.